Welcome to another 2 minute tidbit where I try to show you something interesting in about 2 minutes. In this video we're going to talk about using the reset button of an ESP8266 as an input. It can't replace a button in all scenarios, but it is useful if you have a decision to make at the start of your sketch whether to enable a feature or not. The reason it needs to be at the start is because the reset button will still reset your sketch so your sketch will be going from the start again. I think the perfect example of this is when you're using the Wi-Fi manager library. In the avoid hard coding configurations video I was using a button to force the config mode. But if we use the reset button instead we'd free up a pin and we'd also not need to add a button to our project. The library that we'll use to do this is called the double reset detector by datacute. It can be installed through the library manager just open manage libraries search for double reset and click install. Now let's take a look at the example that comes with the library. If I just press reset once this detect double reset will return false but if I press it twice detect double reset will return true and it'll turn on the onboard LED remembering that the onboard LED is active low. The library works by setting a flag in persistent memory on the call of detect double reset but if it sees that the flag is already set detect double reset will return true. This flag will be removed after the specified timeout and you can also remove it by calling stop. To show how double reset detector can be used with the Wi-Fi manager library I've added a new example to my YouTube API library and I'll link to it in the description below. The first thing we need to do is initialize the library. Even though I'm not actually using the timeout feature the constructor of the library does require it so I just left it the same as the example before. This config mode callback method will get called if Wi-Fi manager launches its configuration access point. We need to remove the double reset flag because Wi-Fi manager will reset your board after you hit save in the config portal. If the double reset is detected we'll start the config portal and then if we reach the end of the setup it means that everything is connected ok so we'll remove the double reset flag. I hope you guys found this interesting and as always if you have any questions please let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot.